welcome back to 24 Days of Layla Land. I hope you really enjoyed yesterday's video. I'm thinking we need to be more Christmas in here. What do you think? I'm a little bit annoyed. The little snowflakes that I've got dotted around are just wilting, quite frankly. There's no other word for them. So, yeah. I think we need, I think I need to go shopping and I think we need to just up the Christmas. In this video I want to share with you my November favourites and there's quite a range, it's quite eclectic as you may expect from me these days. Did I do an October favourites? I'm not sure I did you know. <gasps> right then, god no wonder that why there's so many. Right let's just get on with it because I've got tons to show you. I think first of all I'm going to start with food because I mean come on it's it's the festive period we all know that means we eat more and um yeah. First thing I want to share with you are these naked bars which I love. One of my good friends Deborah uh, put me onto these a few years ago. Thanks for getting me onto these Deb. So these are raw and everything is kind of ground and pressed together so they've not been cooked and the idea is you don't cook out all of the nutrients basically so these are cocoa and orange so they taste just like chocolate orange they're absolutely scrummy like whenever i get a box they just disappear to the point where when i go shopping now i get two boxes because i know the kids will jump in and i know there won't be one for me so i always get a couple of boxes and yeah i've just been obsessed and i've been trying to be aware of the fact that i'm probably treating myself food wise a little more and just trying to balance it out a little so during the day when the kids are at school and i'm faffing about and i want a snack these are what i've been reaching for because they're super healthy super good for you but super yummy as well so if you're looking for a healthy but really flavor some good snack get yourself some of these they're well good i like that Speaking of Christmas indulgence, I'm going to talk to you now about the famous um, massive celebration Christmas tub. You will notice as I'm moving it, there is no noise coming from it and that is because it is completely empty. <laughs> um, is it really bad to say this is like the third box of these we've gone through already? <laughs> it's, it's like only just December <laughs> and I've just put myself in the eye with it. <laughs> it's gonna be a long day <laughs> this is kind of one of the things that we look forward to as it's coming up to christmas it's like it's like that first thing that you do that's in the run up to christmas so i'll kind of come home and the kids will be like oh it's the first big tub of chocolate <laughs> why when did this become a tradition like well done like cadbury's and whoever makes these it's like they're onto a winner there aren't they so yeah we love these and obviously there's three of us and then when paul's here he likes a bit of chocolate as well so it's not like i'm personally eating a tub full of chocolates honest it's not this one is more a drink than a food but it's still that kind of indulgent sorry am i boring you it's still that kind of indulgent thing that I really, really look forward to every day. And it's, of course, my favourite Galaxy Hot Chocolate. I am obsessed. This is my absolute number one all-time favourite hot chocolate. I love it. It's just perfect. I just find it so tasty and so indulgent. It's so creamy and lovely and beautiful. That with a handful of tiny little mini marshmallows in my favourite big mug is just the ultimate for me. So in an evening, I will go and get myself a hot chocolate, get my pyjamas on and get cosy up in bed. On a Sunday, we have the hot chocolate station where we all get hot chocolates and put whatever toppings we want on them. So yeah, I'm going through so much of this at the moment. It's ridiculous. You can tell it's like sub-zero in Lancashire because this has been getting a battery. Right then. I think I'm going to go on to skincare because there seems to be a lot of it. And I think it's just that time of year, isn't it? The central heating's gone back on and the weather's got colder. I mean, let's just get into it. I've only just realised how much of it is Zoella as well. <laughs> First of all, it's going to be the Snow Silky Body Lotion. This is very nearly run out already. I absolutely love it. And I've talked about it in a couple of videos, I know. It smells beautiful. It's a really light, fresh fragrance. Another thing I've been loving body moisturization wise is the body pudding and it's from the zoella range again and it's from the summer um gel and gelato range which my absolute top product that if you took everything away from me right now i would be 
clinging to your ankles as you dragged me out of the door with it all, begging you to leave this one. It's the Johnson's Daily Essentials Face Cream, and oh my god, <gasps> I've used this years and years and years ago, probably about 10 years ago now, maybe more, and absolutely loved it. So yeah, so I've been and bought loads of it. <laughs> I think I've got this and another full one in the in the drawer and I've already gone through a full one as well so mm, I really love this one it is so silky soft it is beautiful to apply it it's an absolute pleasure to apply it's so silky soft and absorbed beautifully doesn't leave a residue but it just you just feel silky and beautiful and this is touch wood the second month in a row where I haven't had any hormonal breakouts. Watch me get seven overnight now. But honestly, I am absolutely putting it down to this baby because this is the only thing I've changed in my skincare routine. I cannot live without this at all. If I forget it, if I go to pause and I forget it, it is genuinely, I will stand there and have a bit of a, oh, and work out whether I want to drive home for it. <laughs> so yeah, I love that one. Which one do I do next? Um, sticking with the face area, this has been epic. This is the Simple Dual Effect Eye Makeup Remover, and I don't know if you can see, it's kind of, can you see down at the bottom, it's kind of oily. The texture sort of splits there, where there's an oil and then there's liquid, there's just a liquid. Oh, it's amazing! You literally give it a bit of a shake, and then onto a pad, and then wipe your makeup off, and it literally just wipes it off. I can pretty much just hold a cotton pad onto my eye. It looks like I'm doing some sort of weird album cover. <laughs> I can literally hold a cotton pad onto my eye with this on it, take it away and there will be the shape of my makeup on the cotton pad. It's amazing. You don't need to scrub, you don't need to rub. It's amazing. It is so gentle on your eyes. It's gorgeous. And I don't know if this has had anything to do with it, but my eyelashes, I swear, have been longer and felt nicer and haven't been coming out in clumps as much as they normally do. I usually shed eyelashes for fun. Who knows? But yeah. Oh! Does it actually say there, cares for lashes? <sighs> oh no, it's a shame. It's a shame! So if you need, if you're looking for an eye makeup remover that's kind to your skin, doesn't drag or need scrubbing around your eyes and isn't going to pull you the skin around your eyes, definitely get your backside to one of your local drugstores or order it off the website or even your supermarket. I think I actually bought this from Sainsbury's. Just go and grab this. So it is the kind to skin dual effect eye makeup remover. Run, don't walk, get one. Shower products next and my favourite shower product throughout the whole of November has been the Zoella Snowella Snow Fresh Body Wash. I know I keep banging on about this range but it's honestly been my favourite range that she's done. Oh the scent is beautiful. I have used this every single day throughout November and I still, it is still up to there. I am super impressed with how far this product goes. I know I'm tiny, but still. It hasn't dried my skin out either, which is something at this time of year I am particularly mindful of. It smells beautiful, it's in beautiful packaging, doesn't break the bank, it lasts for ages, it goes a long way. I mean, what more? What more could you want? Nothing! Right, hair care now, sticking with shower products. I've had some gorgeous comments about my hair over the past couple of weeks. I have been super impressed with it as well. Oh my god, is that more grey? Oh yeah, we're getting a bit more grey. Oh, I like that. I like that. So yeah, I have been super impressed with my hair as well. It's super shiny, it's super soft. I mean, this has been washed and then just blasted with the hair dryer. You can see it's wavy underneath. Like my natural hair is really, really wavy. So I've literally shoved my head upside down and just blasted it with the hair dryer. And it's still really glossy as if I've put some smoothing cream on and I've blow dried it or something. I really haven't, as you can tell, it's wavy underneath. And it's still super, si super shiny. It's still super shiny and super soft. So I've been mega, mega impressed. And I have been using the Tony and Guy Intense Softness Shampoo and Conditioner. This is literally all I've got on my hair right now. I've got no products in it whatsoever. Love it. This one... 
Oh, it smells really nice and it smells, go with me, like when you have your hair washed in the salon. You know there's just kind of a different scent to the products that, that they use sometimes. It's kind of like that. The only problem I have is I wish the bottles were squeezier because when I'm trying to get the conditioner out, it's a bit of a nightmare that I can't squeeze it a bit more to get more product out. When I get out of the shower in an evening, that is then my time to kind of relax. And my relaxing kind of wind down ritual is to get out of the shower, moisturise everywhere, get into my pyjamas, get into bed and put the TV on. And I've really, really been trying to include my feet and my hands in that as much as possible. So I have been using as well these little socks. These basically slather a load of moisturiser on your feet and stick these babies on. They don't absorb it. They're just cotton socks kind of thing. It lets the product stay on your skin and lets your skin absorb it. So I've been using these a few times a week and I'm kind of not getting that cracked heel and that really dry skin that you can get in winter but I've been really really making a conscious effort to um treat my feet and so these have been brilliant for that one I can highly recommend these for my hands I've been using the winter wonder hand by Zoella the um wonder hand hand cream is my favorite hand cream anyway so the fact that she brought out the same hand cream but scented the same as the snowella range which is my favorite scent was brilliant so this baby has just been with me constantly it's either by my bedside or in my handbag it is never far from me and my hands have been super soft super nourished super nicely scented as well i'm not getting any cracked hands and i know we're only just into winter but for me cracked hands and cracked skin on my hands and cold red dry hands are just they've kind of become the norm really which i don't want it to be i want my hands to be nice and supple and soft all winter and that is really really helping me so if you're looking for a good winter hand cream this one is highly recommended or the wonder hand from the core range because they're both brilliant i just think this one smells so so good and it kind of fits in with my love of stationery with my love of making a list and being organized i'm quite a busy girl i've got two kids to look after i've got the channel to run i've got a household to run and i do it all by myself so I like to have a list whenever I'm getting ideas about something I like to just jot them down I like to I'm quite a visual person so I like to write down and plan things that are going on in a week or in a day or whatever projects I've got going on so this has been an absolute godsend let me just fold some pages over because there's some surprises that you can't see you will have seen it in my birthday haul but we've basically got some sticky notes down here I mean these have been brilliant for organizing paperwork while Charlotte's been going back to school I've kind of got piles of paper that are all bundled together and they've all got a sticker on to say what needs to be done with them and I just really like them I like the different stickers anyway but I do actually use them as a kind of um priority rating as well so they've all got different stickers on there's a little notepad here so if you're kind of organizing your week or doing a to-do list but then there's kind of an offshoot idea you can just scribble it down here then we've got the checklist i love a to-do list i love making a list and i also love ticking off items on a to-do list as well it kind of makes me feel really productive and like give myself a sticker and then this one is a bit more of a week to view diary or calendar if you will so i kind of go through and number the uh, days of the month and then each day is split into day and evening as well which I find really useful I've been obsessed all year haven't I with the pink and the grey um so it's just super stylish as well so it's just fitting in with my decor in the whole house and yeah this has been by my side the whole of November and I've been filling things in and ticking things off and scheduling this that and the other and it's been so helpful I had to stick a smelly candle in there didn't I because I do love me a scented candle this one you definitely will have seen if you've seen my Primark haul where I accidentally Christmased and I say you will probably have seen it because that many people have watched that video it's it's mind-boggling it's just yeah wow anyway thanks if you did um yeah so this is from that so it's a frosted woodland candle and it's in the beautiful matte gray packaging with the metallic copper elements to it oh i love it it's got those really trendy nordic trees on as well oh my god the smell of this I've even to the point where this one is really on its way out. I've burnt it 
pretty much all the time I've been home during November. If I've been in the house, this has been lit because I love it. It's a really, really it doesn't, if you take the lid off and give it a whiff, it isn't strong. But when it's lit, you can pretty much smell it all around the house. It's gorgeous. I love it. I've even got the reed diffuser of the same scent downstairs as well. So my entire house smells of this. Oh, I love it so much. And again, it's one of those that's just kind of become my evening ritual as well, where I've kind of got myself cosy and I've got myself all snuggled up and then I like this. And it's just such a cosy, really, really, just a cosy part of my evening that I really look forward to. I love it. I love it. Right, on to things I've been watching. So I have been really, really loving the current season of Supernatural. I am a huge Supernatural fan. I absolutely love it. I was really cross at them at the end of last season because, oh God, I don't want to say in case I spoil anything. Mm, something they did in the last episode to a few of the main characters really, really annoyed me is all I'm going to say. If you watch it, you'll understand. So when this season came back in October, it was all a bit, right, are you going to sort this situation out? Because I'm not happy that you left me on that cliffhanger last year, I'll be honest with you. But they've resolved some of it, is all I'm going to say. So that's been amazing. But it's been incredible. Like the first few episodes of the new season have been amazing. And yeah, I can't wait to watch it every week. I love it. And I found myself sort of sat up like a meerkat, really just engrossed in the TV and like laughing or shouting or cheering or I'm really, really enjoying this season. I love it. What else have I been watching? I find it really difficult to talk about TV shows because I don't want to give specifics and spoil it for people. <laughs> Tin Star. Has anybody watched Tin Star? Oh my God, that was amazing. <sighs> right, if you like a cop drama, go and watch Tin Star. If you like a really, really good who done it or a why done it, watch Tin Star. If you like the most beautiful scenery in the whole entire world and universe, go and watch Tin Star. Oh my god, brilliant. So basically, this police guy from London moves to Canada and um, becomes the police chief in this tiny little town, tiny little village, I think. Yeah, basically, in the first episode, someone in his family gets killed in his place. Try Really trying not to spoil it for you. But yeah, basically, someone tries to kill him, misses, and kills somebody in his family. And the whole series is about kind of getting to know him as a character. And he has so many dimensions it's ridiculous the things that keep coming up about him and you think you know him and you think you know why things have happened and then bam something else comes along and you think whoa okay all of the characters in it are just crackers and i'm absolutely in awe that all of this has come out of somebody's head and somebody has invented this land and these people and this story and it's just epic and then in the very last scene of the very last episode you kind of just go <gasps> no, don't, no no don't finish what was that oh my god i can't wait and it's one of those we finished i think we finished it a couple of weeks ago we just binged the hell out of it and i've literally been thinking about it i keep catching myself thinking about it and thinking about what they might be up to which is a great sign for me if i finish a book or a film or a tv series and I'm still thinking about it afterwards and thinking, I wonder what they're up to. That's like, oh, that's, you're in. That's a really good sign from me. So yeah, go and watch Tin Star. So yeah, that's it. That are all my, that, that are. <laughs> so that was it for my November favourites. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I hope it's maybe given you some ideas. Let me know what your favourites for November were. What have you been enjoying using or watching or reading? Let me know if you've used any of these as well and what you've thought of them. I always lo I love it when I hear from you. The comments and tweets and tags on Instagram that I've been getting over the past few weeks have just been incredible. You all make me feel so warm and lovely and like we're really creating such an amazing, amazing community here. So go and subscribe if you haven't already. Come and join the gang. It's such a supportive, lovely gang because I won't put up with anything less, to be honest. Every single person is welcome here. So yeah, Come and join us and have some fun with us. If you've liked this one, give it a big thumbs up. I really hope you're enjoying 24 Days of Layla Land so far. I am really, really loving um, creating all this for you. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow with another video.